three things I'd like to do very quickly. The first one is, uh, uh, of course, you can all have your own judgment, but uh, personally, I believe this has been the most interesting uh, uh, science review week that I've attended in here in the last seven years. So I feel very, very happy about this, uh, the whole range of things that have been presented and the quality of the research and the new ideas and the results that are being produced uh, seemingly much faster than before. And that's just all extremely good and really, really reassuring. Second thing, uh, before I forget this, which I sometimes do, is so I need to, of course, thank all of the, all the mostly ladies, a few men, who work in the backgrounds to make this thing work. So, the uh, Maricor, Don Hart. The guys uh, are really have nothing to do with all of this, which is really great and it helps a lot. And there's one other little thing I want to do. Uh, give a little personal prize uh, to somebody. Uh, Ando, could you come forward? Now, the Young Scientist program has been a lot of work. And of course, as she has pointed out, there's been a lot of people involved, committees, uh, but there's always one person who needs to bring it together. And uh, I know that she spent a lot of time on this. She didn't have to figure out how to, you in know, a fair, very transparent manner, to divide the budget to support Young Scientist Global. I think she's faced a few interesting new challenges in this process. But I just wanted to thank you for all of this, and uh, uh, you can now make a wise choice. You, know, this, uh, you can either eat this yourself, you can, or share it with your daughter, or share it with your committee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your great work. Okay, so well, the floor is yours, and you are allowed to speak. I'm allowed to speak, finally, thank you. Um, as usual, Akram has uh, you know, left me with very little to say, uh, expressing his uh, uh, really great uh, pleasure with what, how this week has gone and the uh, incredible depth and breadth uh, that was covered that uh, reflects the breadth, but not completely, of the work that's going on here and the depth is, as well. And I'm always impressed with Akram. He uh, starts out and says there's three points he wants to make and he actually makes all three. Uh, I generally lose count. <laughs> At the dinner the other night, he said he had four rules. I was sitting there, my like, God, how can you have those four rules? <laughs> but at any rate, uh, there's no question that uh, the, uh, the great uh, uh, work and the, the organization, the uh, energy that we see in the work that's going on in Erie now, young scientists, old scientists, uh, in many ways reflects that energy that Akim brings to the job. As you all know, Akim's leaving in uh, 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 sometime next, early next year. Uh, I sent out a, a, a memo announcing the, uh, uh, his uh, replacement, uh, Matthew Morell. And we're excited about Matthew's joining, but there's no question that we're going to miss Akim very much. And he has uh, put his heart and soul, and we'll have plenty of time to say goodbye, but this is I think the best time to just uh, 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 think a little bit about how much Akram has brought to the Institute. Uh, the young scientists, uh, uh, I think uh, he has taken special attention to, to your needs, making sure that, that we bring you here, that we have a, a, an institution that's welcoming uh, for you, uh, that will help you grow, that you have not just one mentor, that you have several mentors. And so I think we should all at least put our hands together and thank God.
you design a work, uh, a system of work, so that you have focus and you can address critical issues, and you are absolutely accountable for what happens. So if you're in a silo, you cannot point to anybody else. So I think that let's be, let's be, uh, let's be very clear about that. And I think um, let's also be clear that when we think about the Global Rice Science Partnership, if it's a silo, it's a silo as big as the world. And it's a silo as large as the world's largest food crop. And that's a hell of a silo. Uh, and it, has, it offers great opportunity. It offers great challenges. And I think what we see, what we have seen this week, clearly demonstrates the, the, the wisdom of the choice to create a global program that addresses the multi-dimensional, multi-faceted needs of the world's most important food crop, rather than dividing it up across 15 different programs. That was the choice. And I think as we have seen GRIS grow and develop, as we see the depth and richness of the research that is being conducted, as we see how that results of that result, we're actually reaching into the farmer's field. We saw many, many presentations. And it ranged from the most fundamental discovery research all the way to what's happening in one poor farmer's field, be it in Eastern Africa, be it in South Asia, being in Southeast Asia. And that is truly impressive. If that's a silo, I'll take two. So I think you all need to be very proud of yourselves of, of what's going on, the work you're doing, the energy you brought, you brought to, the, to, to the endeavor. And uh, I think to have, even as exciting as it is, to have survived an entire week. I mean, at the end of the week, let's face it, we're all getting a little tired, okay? Uh, but just uh, for me personally, uh, I want to just thank you all for the tremendous commitment you have to the mission of the Institute, which is, of course, my mission, as Bruce reminded us this morning, uh, and the energy you bring to it, the commitment you bring to it. And it's just so much fun uh, to be working with you all, and it's such a great pleasure to, uh, to have the opportunity to get the last word. And the last word is, have a great weekend. Thanks.